Hello, hello, hello. It's Friday, January 19th. Uh, earlier this week, I made a verbal textual commitment to try to to try to do this puzzle nice and slow. Not slow, calmly. I'm gonna try to talk through what I'm seeing. It is a Friday puzzle, so it probably would take me a while regardless of the speed that I try to go. And uh, there's a rooster outside my window. So yeah, we're, we're just gonna sit here, do the puzzle until we're done, or until my baby wakes up from her nap. Whichever comes first. Okay, bladder ball players historically never heard of this. Where my head goes is that maybe this is a distinctly recognizable sport to either a country or a university. Like it's a fun intramural thing. Like the ISU that I went to, big into broom ball. I never heard of that before. So maybe, yeah, I know I'm talking puzzle I'm talking and I'm thinking about the bird okay OMG stop this is something you would say the abbreviation makes me think you would probably type it so if you don't want someone to keep talking you probably tell them that's too much information for me and if you're saying let's do this I'm just gonna check the I because I, that would confirm or deny uh, let's do this that would be I'm in Lego I think I'm gonna keep moving. I want to see all the acrosses before I start looking at too many downs because on a Friday maybe there's a gimme sneaking somewhere and I don't want to miss it. A certain city guide. Now that could be some kind of map right there. It could be a Mr. T map. No, it could be like a map of the Chicago Transit Authority, but there's no indication that it's abbreviated like that. So this could also be someone who shows you around, like a tourist. I don't know. Leaving a participle dangling in English class, say. You get in trouble for doing that thing. What is a participle? I mean, I think this is an error. So I'm looking for a four letter word says you made a mistake or you did something that's going to be graded unfavorably I'm not sure words after a long day I want to say man and I beat my dogs are barking the M gives me little few good ideas come from this M so we'll move on. World capital since 1971. Well, a four letter crossword capital, Oslo. But why would that have only come to be the capital in 71? I don't have a guess about that. So let's see if I can have an O there, saturate, sog, Soak. Ooh, soak. Okay. Okay, okay. I think that this one over here is okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, okay. So I am going to go with soak. And then world capital since 71. I'm guessing that this is about a country that came into existence in 71. That happens. I don't know what it is, though. Displays of villainous delight. Those would be evil laughs. More. <laughs> like that. Hog calls. Oinks. Now I was thinking sweet, but the things that the hogs make themselves. The pig goes oink. A vibrating part of some instruments. This is a sing even though instruments are there, the part is singular. I think this is the time, uh, but that doesn't look good. Yeah, New York Stadium eponym. 
You don't think H N good speller? I don't think that's it either. So it's not the tine of like a tuning fork. The reed. Yeah. Psychotherapist concern. Uh, this is unpronounceable, so it had to be something like this, but PTSD fits there. I bet this is Ash. Uh, they didn't even tell us it was tennis, but in previous New York Times crosswords, they have made me say something about Arthur Ash enough for me to know that he's got a stadium named after him somewhere. So we're going to go with that. We're going to see if that's right. Honda model. Five letters. CRV. I think. I mean, there, there might be more. Probably are more. I'm not going to commit to it. Grand Blank, a town in Nova Scotia. That's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Grand. Don't know. Sorry. Could be sad. Like if you were in a sorry state. Yeah, and then this is Elks. The S is good to put at the end of that word to begin with, but confirmed with the Elk. Fixed a short in, perhaps. That is an odd saying, but the perhaps means, in this case, I think not that it's a questionable um, solution to the clue, but more that it's just one way sorry the fix the short in is just one reason you might oh rewire something so if you needed to fix a short in something you would probably have to rewire it but you may rewire it for other purposes any sort of device may be rewired for whatever purpose so perhaps the reason you rewired something was to fix a short in it it's the longest I've talked about one of these, so it's probably wrong. Uh, that's just how I play the game. Bed material. Flower beds. Soil. That doesn't fit. And then, like, a mattress is different from a bed. You have, a, you have steel to make up your bed. Not enough for me to know to, to be there. Flash of inspiration, I think, is an aha moment. Um, I just had one, and so I typed it in there. That's all I can say about how that came to be. Cheery greetings. Hyas? Plural. Cry that might accompany a forehead slap. Yeah, we're gonna go dull. Dull! And then, uh. I'm gonna put Haya. Because I don't see another thing in my head. Takes home. Hmm, now, we're we talking about earning or making money. Or meeting someone at the bar. But I'm not aware of anything that fills so it's got to be a three letter word with an s to well, most likely to make it present tense it ends with an s right so ready was i'm set open wide say ah 33 what are you gonna be time to drop the ball new york new york eve uh yeah liniment Example given, I have never heard of this word liniment. <sighs> Makes me think of a thin layer of like a residue or something. Or a type of fabric. Those are my guesses about what that word means. Not that I would ever be confident in writing. Subjects of the 2019 Pulitzer winning novel. The Overstory. Hey, I read that. I highly recommend. Uh, takes, I don't know, like seven characters. Tells some stories about their lives relating to trees. And then 
you should read it and find out what happens. Not be bothered by something. Oh, and also, it's a clever... Uh, there's like two... There's a double play on words in the title. Because over, trees have overstories, like in the forest, the rainforest. Anyway. Uh, not be bothered by something. Feel, feel fine about it. Uh, this is probably movie deal. Yeah. Star signs. That's kind of clever. You know, like uh, astrology. But a star actor or actress signs a movie deal. So not be bothered by something. It's probably let, let it be. These are tater tots. The fried side dish. Obviously there are a lot of fried side dishes, but I was considering if I could put tat, T-A-T there, and so tater just came to mind. Some deco pieces. It's art, right? Art deco. I feel like I I think about like the Chrysler building. I don't even know if that's right. But I think of tot like very bold geograph geographical geometric shapes. The word freeze comes to mind. So I don't know what to do about this T right there. What makes a drink alcoholic? Ethanol. That is the alcohol that we drink. You, you, you could drink some of most alcohols, but there's a much lower limit, I think. Yipes! I'm gonna go with eek. Ah, I'm not. Okay, I wanted to check this one because it, you know, what was that gonna be? C, I thought? Well, it's gonna be C for the domain of the god Triton. And then, yipes, we'll go with Ack, like Kathy from the comics. Word with heat or devil? Red? Red heat? I don't know about that. It doesn't look like it's red, because this is probably follow the fair song. This is a, quite a reference for a very common word. Got hitched. Got hitched, and then I, I, you know, I was thinking about let it, let it, let it ride. I'm gonna have got hitched starting with hit. Now, back to the point, word with heat or devil. Rye? I mean, I'm just thinking about what I can do to fill this gap, right? Devil rye? Oh, <gasps> thy. That's why it made me... We went back in time to when we said thy. This is a heat ray or a devil ray. Okay, okay. Get hit, got hitched. Not sure what that is. Launch pad for many comics. Brief. I'm gonna write SNL and I'm gonna disagree. No, it's fine. You definitely go from, like, you're, you've made it, you've gotten launched you'll be noticed once you've been noticed enough to get onto SNL. So I think that's fine. I was kind of thinking of it like, that's, that's, that is it, but yeah, that's fine, whatever. Okay, rev counter. Um, tachyometer, right? So that doesn't fit. What UPS routes tend to avoid, they like to not take left turns, and I, I mean that, I th when I first heard about this, I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, because you don't have to wait for traffic or turn signals, traffic signals, but I think I've also heard, nah, we'll just leave it there, pronto, that's just a thing that I heard, okay, pronto, here we go, it's either ASAP or STAT, 
pronto is kind of an informal thing, so it's fine for us to do a uh, uh, abbreviation. They're equipped for treatments. I got, I got no real idea what that's talking about, so it didn't clear up an A or a T. I've talked about this before, most likely an A. But we'll not put it in there. Break in. Question mark. So it's the first. Um, usually when I see the question mark, I'm gonna throw out my first two ideas. Like break in. That you've had a burgling happen, or you're like breaking in a pair of shoes or a, a baseball mitt. Those are pretty straightforward connotations, definitions. But with the question mark, it's probably not either of those. So, a break in could be like a lull, an intermission. Intermission. I don't, for some reason, I'm not confident how to spell that right now. It's just like mission, right? Yeah, okay. Well, we're not gonna. I'm gonna do it. Uh, cat and cow are a couple of poses. If there were five letters, I would have written asana. But there are four. Ish. There about. Ooh. I wanted to put thereabouts. There's not. It's not gonna be like yesterday. Uh, there were a lot of answers that I was like, I, don't, I can't fit it. But on a Friday, there's. I think we're safe from Rebus's on a Friday. God in the Marvel Universe, well, Loki, Thor, and Odin, and Hela. So, a bunch of four-letter things. We'll be back. I, could, I, I suppose I could check. We already looked at this. So, probably not a consonant here. Could be an L. Yeah, we're going to have to come back. Bruise. Uh, could be a type of beer, like a stout, that would be valid, or it could be to brew something, uh, you know, concocting. Oh, we're gonna put stouts and we'll check. Hmm. Doesn't look like. We I mean, could have an S there, that's okay. On the job, this one, yeah, that could be at it. Okay, okay. Prop for Willy Wonka, that's a, that's a cane. He walked with a cane and also a, a top hat and a velour velvet jacket. I'm not sure. Bruce steeps as in T, and then that gives us a cap. Okay, nice. Umami enhancer, monosodium sodium glutamate, breakout group, acne, or zits. You can see zits. Certain credibility assessment. I don't. The sniff test. The smell test. Oh. Breakout group. Sorry. So, if something doesn't pass. The, I always said sniff test, but I guess we're going smell test. That's fine with it. If it doesn't pass the smell test, it's sus. So that gives us stat, finally. Finally. It wasn't that long, was it? They're equipped for treatment. Spas. Breakout group. So in the game breakout, arcade game, you have bricks, but that's probably not it. Breakout. What? God, in the Marvel, you have really Aries? That is not one of the ones I said, huh? Uh, this is this is some kind of store. Sorry, I'm reading. I read it. Took me a while. Mom and Pop Shop is to David as someone else is to Goliath. So, big box store. Not sure if the Y. Maybe the Y is not right. Breakout group. Ooh, a sect. A uh, like in a religion. You might break your self into a new sect because you don't agree with the dogma that you're subject to in your original denomination. 
Not ready. Hold on a sec. Okay, so we gotta get high is out of there. Hold on a sec. Hold on, hold on. This could be high hose. Uh, I wanted to spell it that way yesterday for the seven dwarves, but it was hey ho. Hi ho. Hi ho, neighborino. Okay, let's not get too distracted because now we gotta look at the downs for the same reason. Uh, we're gonna go back to the top so we don't miss any words after a tirade. <sighs> I think rant likely a tirade is a rant. I wanted to say okay, rant over or something. Well, well, well. What do we have here? We can put here. There we go. We're just finishing answers with no, no start. It's risky, but we'll figure it out when we come around later. Needing PR help, say. Uh, and hot water. But things are getting a little. A little stressful for your uh, reputation. You might be in hot water. Honda Fit. I mean, this was end of rant. Rant over. End of rant. Yeah. I kind of don't want to. Okay, I have to have to talk about an Ivy League school now. So, like I said, maybe this was a college thing. I don't know how that occurred to me, but. Answer is Eli's, which is what you call someone who went to Yale, or I guess in this case is at Yale. They must play a lot of bladder ball there. This is Looky here. Doha, world capital since 1971. That's in Qatar. And a no-no, as I was talking about. That's a mistake. That's something you'll be graded harshly on. A no-no. And I wonder if uh, maybe no is a participle. That'd be kind of fun. They're proven to be true. Theorems. And you start off with a theorem, and when you prove it, you have a, a law? I don't know, actually. I don't know what technical criteria you have to satisfy to be a law. Christmas wreath material. Mm. Balsa is not enough. Christmas wreath. There's the. Uh, wreath material. I honestly can't think of a, a word for the pine ball. I don't know what I would say. Pine ball. Hagen in the American Theater Hall of Fame. This is a good crossword filling name and I, I don't know it. Symbol on a score? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Good speller. Nothing there either. I think we might be able to fill in the acrosses though. An anti's antithesis, antithesis. Someone who is an anti is against an idea. Someone who's for it, the opposite, is the pro. Grand Prix. UNESCO Heritage Site. Galactic Scale. Yeah. What is this? Intergalactic. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to get high hose out of there too. Could be, could be hey yo's. But that didn't, I didn't like the what. Okay. Got hitched. Hit a snag. Oh, you've run into a hitch. The question The question mark. I should have thrown out my first two ideas, which were getting married and hitching something to a trailer. Hitching a trailer to a truck. But if you come up with a hitch in your step or something, you know, we've, we've hit a snag. Okay, anyway. Top of the line, Mercedes Benz. They do classes. Oh, I was gonna say S class. 
And I guess Bert was an art deco artiste. So then you would call them just like uh, Van Gogh's, right? The collection of art that a person has made when they're famous enough is just their name pluralized. The kind of diet that might include an egg fast. Keto. High protein, low everything else. Judgmental sounds. We're gonna go tisks because I see a way that I can work with the S there. Like a staycation. Take a break, but you don't go anywhere. You stay in. Staycation. I'll take it. This is probably Mr. Hyde. Oh. I said tachyometer and I said it doesn't fit. I forgot that rev was short for revolution per minute. No, it's just, it, doesn't, it counts them, it's not the rate. Anyway, Mr. Hyde, Dr. Jekyll, tech can be shortened, because Rev was shortened. This is kind of, sort of. So, cheddar is firm compared to brie in the cheese world. Okay, now we have map. I think that's good. Good speller, a mage. I forgot the, the question marks again. It's not about spelling. It's about casting spells. Words after a long day, home at last. Symbol on a score. A slur, I think. Because you... Is it slur? Bus map. So it is slur. You need a, a bus map to ride a bus around a city. Uta Hagen it could definitely be a name. And then I had balsa and I gave up on it. Is this M balsam? Oh, it's not dough, it's duh. And like I was thinking, with a garden bed, you could put mulch atop it. Okay. Let's just put something in there and see if it's right. No, I don't think so. This is let it ride. Libra. So where were we uh, talking about astrology, star signs? Up there in the sky, among the galaxy as we see it, Libra uh, is represented by scales. Constellation looks like scales. Liniment, a balm. So what did I said, a residue? A, a thing that you spread on yourself in the neighborhood, I'll say. And then it's chain store. We do have, we're, on high hose, in contrast to yesterday's hey ho, and chain store rivals the mom and pop shop. <sighs> I'm glad that my mood definitely said that I thought that that was going to be correct. I really slammed that age, so good thing I was right. It's not always a guarantee on the old Friday. All right, hey, we're done with the puzzle. The New York Times, at least. I think I am now going to stop this record. Well, I'll do my outro. I almost forgot. And then I'm going to make another one. I'm going to do the Puzmo. So I don't know why I'm telling you, but anyone who's sat here for 29 minutes, they, they must care, I think, is what is in my head. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed hearing more of my thought process as I tried to dive in a bit deeper. Hey, that's neat. These two are anagrams of each other, trees and, and roots. Okay, see you next time.